Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Let's continue working problems to get experience and practice with the properties that we have just learned uh, here with the following problems. Let's say we're doing the inverse Laplace Transform of 2 over s plus 4 raised to the 3 power. So if you look in our table, we don't have anything quite like this where there's a constant over s plus a number raised to a power. We don't, we don't quite know how to do that, but we do have an inverse shift formula. We know we can replace s with s plus a constant as long as we're willing to pull this out of the inverse transform. Presumably when we do that, we simplify things. So you're really going to use that mostly when you have s plus something or minus something inside of a parentheses uh, like we have here. If I replace, if I were to replace s with s minus 4, then I would basically get rid of this junk and I would have a, a 1 over s or a 2 over s cubed in the bottom and I know how to inverse transform uh, things that look like that. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say well if I'm going to replace s with s minus 4, notice how uh, it's written. Whatever, here, here it's s plus alpha and you pull alpha out. So if I'm going to replace it with s minus 4, then it's like s plus a negative 4. So negative 4 goes here in the exponential. So the way you would write that then is you would say, well that's equal to e to the negative 4, got to write the 4 properly, negative 4t times the inverse Laplace transform. What do we have left over? It's just going to be 2 over s cubed. That's because of the shift. When I replace s with s minus 4, then all this junk goes away. It's just s cubed left. The exponential comes out. Now you can see how this is useful. I know how to handle this. If I go back to my chart, I know how to handle it when I have 1 or a constant over s to the nth, t to the n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial. All right. So then, basically I say, well, I'm going to have a 2. This 2 can come out. So it would be 2e to the negative 4t. And then when I take that inverse Laplace, it's going to be t to the 3 minus 1, because it's cubed, over 3 minus 1 factorial like that. So what I'm going to have is 2et squared from here over 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial, which just gives me 2. Now you can see I have a 2 on the top and a 2 on the bottom, so it's just basically going to be, uh, I forgot, e to the minus 4t, which I have from here, 4t like that. So what I'm going to have is e to the minus 4t times t squared. This is the final answer, e to the minus 4t times t squared. Again, it, it's coming from recognizing when I'm inversing, I can basically shift in the s domain and it becomes an exponential in the time domain. You know?